Hi, uh, welcome to the introduction of uh, InfoCaptor Enterprise. InfoCaptor Enterprise is a tool to build dashboards the quick and easy way. Uh, you have unlimited uh, visualization options and uh, all these visualization options are available as widgets that you see on the left hand side. So you have uh, gauges, charts and uh, all of the different uh, widgets that will go through. And also you can bring information from any data source. The data source could be a third party website providing APIs, your own uh, HTTP post get uh, protocol or or you can bring information from a live database using SQL queries. So let me start by the interface. <clears throat> so this is the interface that you see you have the top toolbar and on the left side you have the project and all the dashboards that belong to it. So let me just bring a box into the center. Now this is the container box that can contain any information into it. I right click on it and I select the data source. And in the connection I have pre-built data connectors to various third party web, uh, social media and other services. So in this case I pick Twitter and I click on add default. So it presents me that these are the parameters that I need to uh, provide values with. In this case I have the value defaulted. You can change this to the any Twitter ID that you want to track off. Click OK and the information is brought in the box. <clears throat> uh, once it gets here you can format the the look and feel of it. You can also represent information into flowchart lines. So I have a line connecting those, these two widgets and uh, Just click OK for now. So if you want to track multiple Twitter IDs or multiple information, you can use the grid format. And I can provide uh, as many IDs in a comma separated list. Once it arrives, I can format it. And uh, apart from displaying data into any form of visualization, you can also apply like bells and whistles to your widgets. So what I mean by bells and whistles is literally you can attach sounds and visualization effects. So basically, let's say whenever your data changes in your widget, you can colorize the object, you can change the shape of the object, you can you can uh, do visual effects, you can do motion effects using jQuery motion animation. So you can bounce the widgets, you can slide off the widgets, and then the most important thing is you can add sound effects to it. You define you define a sound list. There are predefined sound names given to you. So all you have to do is enable the sound playing for the page properties and you you just play the sound using the command in this you just say play sounds coin in the widget definition and uh, whenever the data changes you can apply conditions to it you can flow put like javascript if and else statements into it and the last piece is the email alert so so the same way whenever your data changes or you want to send alerts to yourself or to an email address you can do that so let me demonstrate some of the dashboards that we have built here. So in, this is the InfoCaptor documentation and in the, under the use cases you can see the dashboards with the screenshot and the live URL. So 
So this dashboard represents the live stats from the same web application that you are uh, viewing right now and it tells me okay the live statistics the users how many dashboards what are the different trends uh, happening on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, whenever a user signs up there is a sound attached to it whenever a new dashboard is created there is another sound attached to it so you can create like funny I mean really uh, motivational dashboard you can do cool stuff with it and this is the same dashboard but with, with using a different uh, background pattern and uh, similarly we have different the star pattern the grid pattern and uh, this is the Facebook live dashboard so basically you just throw in bunch of sticky notes and you tell okay these are my URLs you want to track and it brings all the statistics and if you there are ways to refresh the dashboard you can set it on auto refresh or you can refresh once when the dashboard launches in the browser so some so you don't need to set auto refresh every time you can just have it once when you launch the dashboard and we already saw how you can build a Twitter dashboard the same way so this is a combination of pulling image uh, widgets and the box URL box widgets together and combining them so you can group multiple widgets and form a new object you can do that so let me show you the, the actual visualization effects So in this dashboard, all of these widgets are run by random number generators and you can see the bouncing effect and pretty soon you will see this widget is scrolling off the screen and this will start blinking on and off and uh, there are this, this set of widgets, they are kind of in a simulated race. So every, every time there is a refresh cycle, they get a new random number and based on the random number, they they move off the screen so you can pretty much locate relocate the widgets based on the data they receive so think about this the application would be say for a car sales dealership you have four to five salesmen who have a fixed quota and uh, you can actually bring fun into the day-to-day -day business activity by uh, you update a Google spreadsheet and bring information pull information on a day-to-day -day and then you can move the headshots of the salespeople off the screen. And then you also have widgets to do countdown simulation. So you give a date and you can you can count down based on the days, the months, the minutes, and so on. So it's uh, this is this is just, just a basic introduction of the Info Capital Enterprise. There is so much you can do with it and everything is documented here with respect to the bar chart with all the options and all the APIs and uh, all the databases and uh, all the different services connectors that are pre-built to it and uh, you can also embed the dashboard in any website HTML so you can share the URL directly or you can share it privately within the team you can bring the entire team into a group and then you can share between them yourself or you can make a public dashboard uh, so that's it i hope you enjoy using info capture enterprise and it is uh, uh, let us know if you have any issues or concerns thank you